Okay guys, welcome back again to another video on the Foxtech YouTube channel. It's me, it's Lucas, and this time we talk about how you can bring the keyboard back to the normal state on your iPad. Now, it really depends what you mean by that, but let me just show you what I think you mean. So, let me just open up a place where I can type something in, let it be App Store. And for example, the keyboard for me looks like this, it is a floating one. So, it is a little bit unusual. This is probably not the keyboard you want, so you want to bring it back to the normal state. So what you can do in this case, if you have a floating keyboard, is use two fingers and simply pinch on the keyboard like that. You pinch on it with two fingers and it basically makes the keyboard come back to the original state. So this is something that you might be referring to. This is how you can get the, the keyboard back to the normal state. However, to come back, or if you really want to get to the floating back, you just pinch in the other direction to like make it zoom out. But you can also just hold down on the, the button on the lower right portion of the, of the keyboard, which looks like this. You hold down on it and you can switch to the floating one like that. So you can also switch it manually if you really wanted to. But there are also other things which you may be considering when switching the keyboard to different states or getting it back to the normal one. You can also hold down on the globe icon in the lower left corner and you can switch to the different different languages. So perhaps you don't like the keyboard, which is, I don't know, in a different language and has like different symbols on it, like this German one, for example. If you want to switch it back to the normal, quote, normal one, back to the English or whichever language you use, just hold down on the globe and come back to the English. And if you don't see your option, hold down on the globe and go to the keyboard settings and just tap on the keyboards at the top and choose any keyboard from any language that you want. So tap on add new keyboard and scroll through all of the available options. Everything is there. So you can go ahead and play around with it as much as you want. However, it might have also happened that you are switched to a third party keyboard. Like, I don't know, something like Swift Key or Gboard. You know, these are the keyboards which you can download for your iPad and you can see this is what it looks like. It's just an example from the one from Microsoft and whatnot, but you might go ahead and install the app, go through the process, set everything up, and perhaps then you want to make sure the keyboard comes back to the original state. The same problem, the same solution. So you just go wherever you type with your keyboard, and you just hold down on the globe again, and there is gonna be the option for the third body keyboard. So in case you have a Swift key available or a Gboard from Google, it's gonna be part of the list. So you can switch between those very easily and just come back to the original one from Apple, or you can even just delete the app entirely. In case you have this app installed, you just delete it and you no longer have the keyboard, only the one which is the original one from Apple from Apple. So yeah, this is how we can get the keyboard back to the normal state. However, on the older iPads, you have even more options on how you can split the keyboard in the middle and stuff like that. And I made a very specific video about that, which received well, very good feedback. So yeah, you can go ahead and watch that. I will link it below. And also, if you want to, you can go ahead and join the Fox Tech educational platform, which I created for free. You can go ahead and join it right now. There are many different courses, for example, one on the Dynamic Island, or there is a full guide, full course on how you can edit videos on your iPad using Adobe Rush, which is very nice software from Adobe. So yeah, more stuff is going to be added. It is free to join and I just want to make sure that you get the most out of your devices. So I will wait for you inside. Thanks all for watching and I'll see you later in the future. Peace out until then.